Okay, so this is like a game changer. What I'm about to show you is one of my favorite things that Procreate lets you do. And that is you can create stamp brushes where you can like just tap different icons and they'll magically appear. I'm gonna show you how to actually do that so you can make your own. I know, it's amazing. I'm gonna show you how. All right, we're gonna start by drawing something and then turning that into a stamp brush. But first we have to change the background color of our canvas to a black. So I have a video on how to change your background color, but here's how to do it. You're gonna open up your layers and then click background color. And then I'm gonna click black. There it is. And you can use any kind of brush, but you wanna make sure that you're using white as your color. I'm going to do a piece of paper as my icon that I want to turn into a stamp brush and I'm not going to be a perfectionist about this right now. Don't worry about making it perfect, just try it. Just try one first and then worry about making it perfect later, okay? Cool. Maybe I'll make it more into like a binder and be like, it's super important. Okay, so there's my icon. I want to take that and I want to turn it into a stamp brush. This is exciting. I don't know if you're excited. I'm excited. Let's do this. Okay, so this is the only thing I've got on my layer. I am going to swipe down with three fingers to access my copy and paste menu, and I'm going to click copy. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have this copied. And we're just gonna hold on to that. You're then going to open up your brushes. And this is a brush that you have in your Procreate brush library. It's, it's kind of built in. I don't know why it's just this brush, but when they upgraded Procreate, the way to create stamp brushes changed. And it took me a long time to figure out how to make them again. And this is the only way I've been able to figure out. So just, just bear with me, okay? I don't, can't explain this fully. I just know it works. Okay, so you're gonna go into the brush folder that's labeled spray paints. All right, find that. And then you'll see a brush in there that you should have called drip. Looks like this. And you're going to swipe to the left. I'm so bad at that, right? That's swiping to the left, yep. And you're gonna duplicate that brush. You'll see I've duplicated it a bunch of times because this is what I use to make my stamp brushes. And now you're gonna open that brush you're going to enter the brush studio and you're going to go to shape. It's one of the options here. All right. And I'm going to click edit shape source. Now I want to import and I just want to click paste because remember we copied our drawing and now we're going to paste it in. So you're just going to click paste. And there it is, it's magic, it's amazing. Okay, now that's good, I'm gonna click done. And there it is, and you can test it, by the way, the drawing pad right here, you can just test your brush. And there are a couple of the things that I wanna adjust in here, so let's do that. So I want to go into the properties and I want the maximum size to be as big as possible. And in the about the brush, that's where you can change the name of the brush. So it's drip two right now, I'm gonna change it to paper. Okay, and you can say, hey, this was made by me. And creating a new reset point, you actually wanna do that whenever you create a stamp brush because if you need to reset the brush, it will go back to whatever you created as the reset point. It's just one of those things that if you wanna mess with this brush, but then you're like, oh no, I messed with it a little too much. The reset point will help you come back to the place that you want it to always be. So now I'm gonna click done, and I'm just gonna hide this layer and create a new one. And, and now I wanna make sure that I have my icon selected. Oh, and let's fix this right now, because you can see in the preview here, it's just a sliver of my icon. Let's open it back up. So I'm just tapping on that and I'm going into properties. The preview, I wanna minimize the size of the preview. Let's see if that helps. That's pretty good. It made it a little bit smaller. If it's off center like this, that means my drawing was not, um, my drawing was not centered. So I wanna kinda look at my drawing and I might move it. And I'm just making sure it's right in the middle. There it is. There it is. Okay, so now if I copy that, 
and I go back to the brush and I it's kind of like you have to do it again but this is this is what I do import paste there it is and now if I go to the properties I'm going to minimize the size of the preview and okay there it is it's centered you know what for those of you who are OCD like me you're welcome <laughs> for those of you who don't care just disregard that part okay let's test this out now because this is the fun part so I'm gonna hide the layer where I actually drew it open up a new layer and now I'm just gonna tap I mean like how cool is that it's pretty amazing because then you can take all of your drawings and turn them into stamp brushes and I mean I have a library of my stamp brushes I'll show you all so do 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 I have my icon stamps like I have different stamps of like bullets and if you increase the size here it will increase the size of your stamp brush I know I know I I I can't but like, come on. So this is just a way that you can digitize all of the icons that you use most often, again, to speed up your workflow so that if you draw a banner icon all the time, just make it into a stamp brush and then you don't have to draw it every single time. I hope that you create a stamp icon library that just makes you really happy and things that you use and just really enjoy. So have fun with it. I love creating stamp brushes. I think the joy of creating a stamp brush has not <laughs> gone away. Every time I make one, I get really excited. I hope you have as much fun as I do with these because <laughs> then you're having a lot of fun.